watchers, today's movie is Transformers. Number three, The Dark of the Moon. I am a Transformers fan. I liked one, I liked two. So. I expect to see great special effects. A lot of fighting, more than meets the eye. It's cheaper than Disneyland and usually a lot more fun. Okay, kitties, what did we learn today? We learned that one, Michael Bay should never, ever make a three hour movie, ever. We learned two, if you are a kitty, you should not see this movie because it's way too scary for you. And three, I don't care, very long movie, ultimately still had a good time. Well, it was better than two, still not as good as one, and I don't know what they did with the pacing, but um, it, it was like the movie just kept, it was like it would like go really hard and stop and then go and stop and go and stop. Michael Bay didn't disappoint with pretty people and good uh, graphics. Definitely loved it. Great to see that they brought back some of the old voices from the original animated movie, so it was nice to see. I loved it. I thought it was definitely better than two. I think they went too far this time. They tried to correct the mistakes of two. And I really, honestly, they could have taken out the first hour of the movie, even though it was enjoyable, take it out, get to the action, because where it got good was when we finally got into Chicago. When when the Sentinel betrays the Autobots, I'm like, oh, this is going to be awesome. This is now, okay, now we're going to go. Now we're going to go. We're, we're, we're into the third act. This is going to be like non-stop action. And what was like the first scene after that? Wasn't it, they're like, didn't he go talk to his parents or something like that? <laughs> yeah. It was like, it's like every time there was something exciting happening, it's like, yeah, now the movie's going to go. The Transformers 2 had no story whatsoever. Um, I, and I think they overcorrected by trying to make it all about the plot and all about the story, and they just killed it. I love the premise about the whole space race thing, but too many jokes. We didn't yeah, need that whole space race thing. I get it. It was yeah, cool, but yeah. it took too long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, the, the correction part, I think they almost could have made two separate movies. I mean, I really was there to see a lot of the Halfway action. Halfway through, but was, I was like, okay, this is where part one ends and part yes, two begins. Yes, exactly. I mean, they, they certainly, uh, yeah, they needed to, to make it about the action and stop being so anticlimactic. You know, I mean, to talk about a pot almost ready to boil and knock the top off, and then it goes back down. Yeah. See, there were parts of it I liked. It's a great summer movie. It'll be a summer movie. Yes, a hit. Um, it'll do well on DVD. Very Michael Bay, though. I mean, it had all the great things we love and about And you know, Michael I love Bay. Michael Bay. I do. I, I'm a Michael Bay fan. I mean, you have to, you know. Yeah, this shirt's pretty awesome. You know, and this, I bought this shirt at Comic Con, and the, I, I added the I liked it part because it was not the Transformers I grew up with. Yeah. But it blew my mind and I loved it. It was completely different. Not what I expected, but I loved it. And I keep expecting him to to catch lightning in a bottle in it like he did the, on the first movie. As a fan of the, the, the cartoon as a kid, the one thing uh, I did like was you actually found out what happened to the trailer when Optimus Prime transformed. Yes! Oh, yeah. in the car, yes, yes, you knew. It would just disappear. You'd yeah, it would just go it. off. You, as soon as you'd rise, it would just evaporate into nothing. The deaths were actually really violent. Like, like there was a lot of stuff happening where when, we was, when I was watching, I was like, Oh, good thing like ISIS isn't here. You don't want your kids. Wa you really don't want your kids watching this unless they're more mature. And it was really scary when the Decepticon. No, no. Both. It was like the 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 Transformer deaths and the human deaths were very gruesome and very violent, and it made it really scary. And when you thought you're like, holy, sh this is suddenly an alien invasion movie, and that I like. I really like that too. In fact, I was shocked that they that they went with killing humans because they'd never done that before. Yeah. Humans have always kind of been casualties and they've been pushed off to the side, but in this movie they actually start killing humans, which really start it raises it up a, a yeah. notch. So now that now there's a real threat, you know, to humanity. Now there's a reason to fight back instead of just being in the middle of the carnage. Right. Yeah. Death Megatron's were already, beat the up. fights yeah. Yeah, were way too drawn out. Like, yeah, the, they really, really were. Was the second one or yeah. this one? This, no, this one. one. Yeah, this one. Yeah. It was like a Lord Bumblebee. of the Rings kind of like eternal wars. Bumblebee was instead the of just yeah, I you're right about I that. I just got to the point where it's like, come on, I'm checking my phone. Let's hurry, hurry up. Yeah, I know. I got, right. a, I got a bit drowsy. Yeah, yeah. Transformers has the best special effects of any of the movies I've seen in a very long time. Other than maybe two scenes where I was like, oh my god, that is the worst special effect ever. Yeah. But <laughs> you, that, oh, yeah. Yeah. the JFK was awful. Yeah. The Nixon wasn't bad, but the JFK, like, oh my god, it was like they just CG'd. Yeah. yeah, I thought those were like almost close to unforgivable. But the opening sequence was so great that I was like, okay, I get. I would have just left that off. Right, just leave it off. I would have made JFK yeah. an audio. I don't. I don't know what they were thinking. I mean, as as far as an event film goes, I mean, I I, I love the spectacular special effects. I love that. The, every special effect in this movie, I loved. Yeah. It's just 
to me, I'm sitting there, I'm waiting for the story to get going. And they had three editors on this film, and I, I think it was like, that's always a recipe for disaster when you've got... Is, is it bad? Well, there are too many storylines. There's I mean, definitely too they had, many They had to bring back Linux, yeah. or did they? You know, they had to bring back Epps, or did they? Yeah. You know, I mean, couldn't it just be Sam and the Autobots and the Decepticons? And um, so what did you guys think, I guess, of uh, Megan Fox's replacement? I liked her a lot more. I thought she was engaging. I thought she was really funny, but at the same time, a little too much focus, you know, on the whole TNA thing. Uh, she looked good, but that's yeah, Michael but Bay. I mean, how many tight white skirts? We're really, I know, I'm not, I never get tired of looking at it, but she could act. I thought. Yes. Uh, yeah, she was way better than Megan Fox. She yeah. could actually carry carry a scene. I'm sorry, Megan. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> does, did anybody? Does anybody miss her? No. 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 As the woman at the table, I have to agree with the boys. I mean, I think that she's actually better looking than Megan Fox just because you don't get the vibe that she's probably a total bitch off screen. Like, I thought she seemed like a real sweetheart on screen, and I believed her, and I enjoyed watching her. Could they have gotten a real actress? Yes. But I know what Michael Bay was doing. And, well... What to do over again? I'd probably wait for the dollar theater or like a video because, I mean, it's great seeing it on, on the big screen, but to sit there that long, you know, and to not get the kind of thrill out of it that you get from like a movie, when you walk out of the movie and go, God, that was such an awesome movie. I wanted, I wanted that feeling going in and I didn't get it, so. I probably would have liked to have seen it in 3D because it seemed like we were missing something that it was meant to be that we missed, but um, great summer movie. And uh, don't bring a kid under 12. I loved it. I'm going to probably have to say I would have wanted to see it in 3D, but a little bit too long for home. This makes it a definite festive summer movie. Summer movie. I enjoyed it. I would see this in a theater. I, would, um, I wouldn't do 3D because that pulls you out of it. I would definitely do IMAX, and I'd bring a comfy pillow to sit on. Hey, I'm going to say, you know, go see it. You're looking for a good summertime. Go check it out, but bring snacks, lots of them. It's very long. You'll need at least two bathroom breaks. My head hurts a little bit, but ultimately it's still fun. It's kick-ass robots fighting each other.